Warning! The following video may contain spoilers for some of your favourite shows. Just remember that before you continue. Stevie, out! South Park Season 20 The Theory So Far South Park Season 20 has been great so far with a lot of story and separate strands of fun which people like us need to try and tie together to try and assemble an idea of what is going on. Lately I have been getting heavy into the reviews but I have not been covering many of the facts, theories or predictions. So in this video we are going in deep and analysing the facts we have so far from South Park Season 20. Then we will go over my theories on where I think the story is going to go. Season 20 has many strands running together parallel so we are going to go over them one by one then we are going to go over the theories at the end. Gerald Brovlowski He is Skunk Cunt 42 He is the world's most effective and dangerous troll. He drinks wine and enjoys drinking it whilst trolling. He trolls for fun, believing in causing chaos and making people fight with each other as opposed to hurting one person's feelings individually. Mr. Garrison, he is running for president. He has managed to win the public's hearts with the craziest of pledges to F everyone he has opposed to death. He has no idea why he has got so popular which has led to him feeling way in over his head and he has been trying to get out of the presidential race but to no avail which has led to him finding out about the member berries. The Gender War the gender war has been caused by trolling. People thought this was Cartman. Cartman has been trying to stop the gender war from the start. Butters has now risen up on behalf of the males and started the Wieners Out movement. Cartman and Heidi are now trying to stop the gender war. The Danish The Danish have been trying to stop the trolls after Frigia Olingard committed suicide after becoming a victim to the trolls. They have set up a company called Trolltrace.com. The CEO of that company is a man called Leonard Bedrager. Interesting little fact, Bedrager when translated into English from Danish is cheat. Someone in the comments tipped me off onto this one, kudos to whoever it is, I can't remember off the top of my head but thank you very much for that little pointer. Trolling Trolling is driving the world crazy and causing people to commit Twitter suicide and go completely off the line as well as causing the death of Frisia Olingard. The kids at school thought it was Cartman which led to the boys destroying all of his possessions that can go online. Years worth of birthdays and Christmas presents were destroyed. The trolling has mainly been caused by Skankon42 and now he has the help of Colorado's trolls. They have managed to troll Denmark offline. Eric Cartman from the start Eric Cartman has been branded the bad guy when in fact he has been innocent. The boys took him to the middle of nowhere and destroyed all the devices he owned that could get online only to find out the next day that they were completely wrong. Eric Cartman went offline in a Twitter murder. After going offline he became friends with Heidi Turner who was also driven offline by the trolls. He has been trying to stop the gender war since it started. He has now offered to help the Danish. And lastly the member berries. Psychoactive berries that have been around since at least the time of the Romans. They can talk and love to reminisce about the old days including Star Wars. Eating member berries cause people to reminisce about the good old days and they demand that things be like the good old days. They cause people to make poor choices and become irrational. So when I take in all these facts where do I, Stevie, think all this is going? Well. For me I need to know what the link between the member berries and the trolling is as when you break down everything that has happened in, in the South Park world at the moment the only two things which we do not have a link between are the member berries and the trolling. For everything else we at least have a small link between the two sides that have developed in the story. I then went back and had a think about it all and then it hit me. The logical link between member berries and the trolling is Gerald's wine. The wine Gerald drinks has been the same bottles since the first episode and he has always made a point that a part of his whole trolling ritual is drinking wine. He likes to sit back and enjoy it and watch the world go crazy and it is here that we find the only real link between the trolling, the member berries and the Mr. Garrison storylines. 
Whoever is behind the wine, I think, will be behind everything. Behind Garrison, behind the trolling, behind the whole lot. In the coming weeks, we will no doubt find out what is happening, but in the meantime, it's good to have fun and speculate. So let me know what you think. Where do you think the story is going? Let me know in the comments below. The crazier, the better. I will be recording another viewer comments and feedback video in the next week or so, so leave a comment below, check out my previous South Park videos and hit that subscribe button for more South Park and Dragon Ball and gaming and whatever related content I can find to put on the channel. Margins TV out.